This is Level Up Success Podcast with Neth and Truth. Hey, how you doing, friends and family? This is the Level Up Success Podcast. And welcome to another episode where we try to bring knowledge and power to our listener. So tell me now, how we gonna start this now? Hey, how you got how you doing guys? Um so yeah, so I'm very excited about uh today's segment. Um Mostly because, you know, it, it, the person that we have today is somebody who I know personally and, you know, who has who has actually helped me with with uh, certain views in life as far as, um you know, like uh, striving to, to be financially um, educated. So, you know, um, I uh, we're going to talk a bit about um, real estate today. But before that, um, do you mind uh, talking a little bit about yourself? Yes. Hi. How are you guys? How's everything? Everything's good. All man. right. That's good. That's good. And also, um, I was born here in New York, uh, in New York City, Manhattan. Uh, I, I spent here to like kindergarten. Okay. And we moved to Florida, spent in Florida about eight years, came back, and been living here ever since. Okay, okay. Awesome, man. So, uh, what, um, what nationality are you, I mean, for the viewers? Yeah, so my parents are Dominican. And um, and my grandparents also, so basically Dominican. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, awesome, awesome. Hey, what part of um New York were you living in? Uh, well, I lived in Manhattan. I lived in Bronx. I lived in the, I basically lived in all the boroughs except for Brooklyn. Okay, okay. And Staten Island. I haven't even been to Staten Island, but it's a surprise. That's another story. That's a forgotten <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, <laughs> I mean, nah, but we love you too. Yeah, you, Staten you're part of New cool. York as well. Hey, all right, awesome. So, um. What what is it that you do for a living? So um, I run my own business in in cell phones. So I have like cell phone stores. Yeah. And obviously, I got the the real estate that I got into. Awesome. All right. Awesome. Awesome. And I know you you also um into uh, in the music business. Yes. Yes. I didn't mention that because that's my night job. You know, not everybody <laughs> could know that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. Nah, nah, I'm just playing. You're giving you the so, exclusive out here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. I I I've been in music f- since like 16 years old. Wow, well, in, that's fun. That's in the, uh, bachata, which all Dominican and Latin people should know what that is. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. So yeah, so um, today um, you know, we, we made a decision to talk about uh, a, we made a decision today to talk about a uh, real estate. So the real estate um, you know, a version of of, of today. It's gonna be today's segment. Uh, so why don't you talk about um, how you got into like real estate? Yeah, so um, I would say like in 2008 or nine, more or less, when um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> no, is that right? Uh, you know, at that point we were having um, uh, we were coming off of the recession, basically. Yeah, so I remember that. Yeah. Properties tanked big time. Um, so right before that, I I wanted to get into it. I knew that in life, I think that's the uh, an investment that was for sure that you weren't it wasn't a gamble m- more or less you know and it's crazy but you know the people that did buy in 2005 2006 you know the recession hit so it was a gamble at that point but that's like something that doesn't really happen you know like no, I a know, recession but, but you, it, it did happen yeah i know doing uh, that's that, that's what i tell everybody when it comes to real estate the chance of the property going down is real slim. I mean, there's always a chance, like where everything else in life. But in real estate, I, I think that's the best in investment you could do. I mean, one of the best investment you could do in life. But do you have somebody that encourage you, or that's something that you already had in mind? Yeah, no, I I don't know how I came out to my mind, but I know that this is what we need to do. We need to um, invest in in real estate. I know that real estate goes up not it doesn't usually crash and if and if it does crash we're talking about maybe in the 30s now like you said it it hardly ever happens it rarely happens yeah it it rarely happens and even if it does happen if you sell you lost but you don't have to sell you could you still keep your your property and just wait for it to come back up so it's really not it's really not a bad idea, obviously. So that's what I, I I knew that that's what I wanted to do in reality. No, it, it, I mean it's it's basically a, a smart investment. So, um, uh, 
can you walk us through like why why didn't you start real estate in the get go? Like um, what 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 did you have to do in order for you to get into real estate? Yeah, so I mean, in the beginning, um, just to piggyback a bit what he said, um, you're you're scared in the beginning. It's a big, you know, it's not like buying a car where like okay, fifteen thousand dollars. So just the number of the value of what you're buying, that's scary. So that is why I, I didn't probably do it earlier in the yeah. beginning. Um, but even though I knew that I wanted to, but it was just like waiting and waiting. And the years came by and went by and went by. Um, I did uh, meet somebody that does construction. Okay. And that was my opportunity i'm like okay we need to start now and he knows how to build stuff he okay. knows how to do bathrooms he knows how to do flooring he knows you know so that's when i said i gotta jump in now now is the time that's awesome that's awesome mm -hmm. that's dope yeah. yeah um so when you was buying your first um uh, property were you were thinking more as an investment or a place to stay in because most of the time when people buy the first property it's just to live in they won't even think about you could just rent it out and make money out of it. Most people, when they buy their first property, it's just about living there. Yeah. So what was your intention? Your Where approach, you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Your approach, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're 100% about that. My approach was I need to buy houses, not for me, because those rental income is what's going to buy me my house. So I knew that if I bought my house first, I'm stuck with the mortgage who's going to help me pay the mortgage, yeah, you know? Yeah. So I, I decided, let me buy houses, have the rental income, buy another house, buy get more rental income so that a few years down the, the, down the line, yeah. when I buy my house, that mortgage is being paid by the um, income from the other property. So that, that was my mindset is let me worry about myself later I need to do, I need the help, the income. So, exactly. So that's why I, I, did, I you did. Did you decide on on single family or multi family? Yeah, you would. You know, you obviously want not. You want multi family. You even want buildings, yeah. but you got to start somewhere, <laughs> yeah. and you may not have the 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 cash. Yeah. To do that, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. You could start with an apartment. You could then buy. You know, it doesn't matter as long as. You you get you you get your feet wet, yeah, you know, exactly. and then later on, as time goes on and you got more money, then you could buy multi. But to answer your question, I started with one family. Home. Yeah. Okay. So one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a multi-family home. No, one no, no, family. Oh, family. A, sing, okay, a single, single family. That, single yeah. family. Okay. yeah, that was my first okay. first property. Was a f one family. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Mm -hmm. No, because um, you know, like I, as far as a. Uh, what we see now is that it's, it's, it's better to get the multifamily because if you get a multifamily, if you could, yeah, go ahead. Exactly. Yes, if you could, but I, 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 if I did that, I would have to wait a bit more. Okay. So why wait a bit more? Let me just jump in now and little by little. But if you if you're gonna start now and you have the money for that, go ahead. That's exactly. obviously the number one. A, a choice that you could do in reality. Yeah, all right. I mean, that's no, why I usually so. to, do tell people too, because especially if you're planning to live, because like I told you, there's people when they get into their first house, they just want to live on it. And they decide to get one family. I have a couple of people ask me, but I usually recommend to get a multi family. If you want to live on it, get a work family, because if you get a multi family, you could use the other rental property exactly. to help you pay the mortgage. Because paying mortgage by yourself, like you say, it could be difficult. And especially if you go have like a steady or a job that you've been there for a certain amount of years that you know, or a guaranteed job. Let's yeah. just say that. But yeah, that's most, most of the time when people ask me, I'm like you. Try to get a multifamily. Or if you're going to get your first house, make sure... Like you said, I think that's the best way to start. Truth, let me ask you, like, how, how do you start? Like, 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 do you start with, with a multifamily? Yes. Um, actually, when I first tried to start it, mm -hmm. it, it was actually in PA. But I did a mistake because when I was working about the house in Monte, I started a new job. And one thing that the first thing that the bank looked for 
when you started to get a mortgage, how long you be working? So yeah. it ended, um, I forgot, ended up buying the house, but it was a multifamily. Okay. So thanks God we did that because right now my mother is staying on one side of the family, but I'm getting help with the rent from the other side. Exactly. Yeah. So that's helping me a lot. Like if we would have just decided to get one family, I know somebody else who did the same thing, bought property in PA, got one family, but they decided to live in it. And at one point they had to change job or leave PA. So not, it, it took them a while to rent it out. But if it's possible for you, like you said, if it's, if you got the money to get a multifamily, that's the best thing you could do. So no, I mean what what I got from this is like yeah. So the smartest the smartest uh choice is to go to multifamily, but don't let that limit you, right? Hundred percent. Yes. Because if if you if you see an opportunity and you know you see the opportunity is different, just go for it. Just go for just it. Just go yeah. for what it is because at least you started. Exactly. Right, because then what what happens is you start procrastinating and and giving yourself reasons to not start. So you know, like, I, and that's why I asked both of you guys a question because yeah. I, I also wanted to ask you, um, was your intention when getting the first home was it to sell or was it to live? Um, to be honest, <laughs> the one of the reason that we, we decided to get a one PA because I was looking in New York, but. Uh, I wasn't really making that much money. And uh and you know the house in New York is expensive like crazy. Like the property that my father ended up buying over there is bigger than this one. Yeah. And it's like three times cheaper than this one. So More it's crazy. Me. Like if you want to invest, I think it's better to go to other states, to be honest. Like and do as so, so I know right now I just went to one side of the two family. But if I rent both sides. I know I could make enough money to buy another property exactly. and keep on buying another property. Like I know people that own 10 properties and yeah. 15 properties. That's, That's awesome. how they do it. They just just with the rent money. Exactly, yeah. So um did, did you um did you start uh, here like when you started um investing in homes? No, so coincidentally I started in PA also. Uh, that's, the oh, way wow. to, that's the way to go, yeah. guys. All right? <laughs> that's a coincidence. That, that, is that a was coincidence. not planned. Yeah. Uh, no, so I think starting in PA, it goes hand in hand with with what we were talking about, multifamily or not. If you have the money, go to multifamily. If you have the money, buy here. Why go to PA? Yeah. But if you're limited and you want to start, then PA is a great option because it's like he said, it's a fourth. Uh, or even a third or even a fifth of what they're yeah, worth sometimes here. Yeah, it could be a fifth. You'd be yeah. surprised. So why wait four years, five years saving money to buy here when I could have just bought over there? Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. if you got the money, just go ahead and buy here. If you if you want to start PA, you know, we're, we're, we're in New York, so PA is a great option. Um, and it's not only PA. Um, there's Connecticut. Hey, Connecticut, yeah. yeah. But PA is definitely a lot cheaper. Um, mm -hmm. uh, do you plan on in, in investing in more real estate and and like how many more le uh, more or less you could like both pocket? If I planned, yeah. Um, if you're if you're planning to, to get more real estate, oh yeah. yes, I'm not stopping. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not. I I put myself a, a goal, and that's all I want to do. Is just keep on buying, keep on buying, keep on buying. Nothing else. I don't want to gamble with money with businesses because yeah. it's a you know whether you open a restaurant or or you open a candy shop, it's always a gamble. You know, it's not easy running a business. And and like you said, uh, you know, I I have businesses that I started with this probably like 12, 13, 14 years ago, but I know that. For you to invest a hundred twenty thousand dollars on a business, it's a gamble. Yeah, I'd rather do. I'd rather do a, a down payment for a house. Yeah, you know, no, no, I mean, no, and and that's and awesome, that's, yeah. that's definitely a m more safer investment. Exactly, All right. that's mm -hmm. awesome, man. So, um, are you like, are you planning to uh, expand uh, out of the United States? Oh, as far yeah, as, uh, so um, it's funny you mentioned that. I I recently um, bought a property on in Dominican Republic okay. in the beach. That's pretty so cool. it's obviously I I had the mindset on that is same thing in, investment property. That one is more. I'm gonna do more Airbnb since okay, it's more yeah. vacational. That's that's a new trend right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was you know, and it's um, 
it's something that is different because the properties I have are are people living in it, yeah, one yeah. year lease, two year lease. So this is will be a bit different, but it's the same result because we're just looking for rental income basically. Yeah, man. No, no, that's mm-hmm. that's pretty dope, man. Um, that's pretty dope. So I um would like to ask you like um well I think you kinda answer the question, but what like what is it that really motivates you to to pursue re- like real estate? Like what 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 pursues you? Like was it like did it start as as a dream? Do you like envision something for you? Like yeah, uh, for me, I, it's like I you gotta understand the the way real real estate works. Um, is w- you're getting rental income? That's what you see now. Yeah, that's the money you see now. But there's more money that you don't see now. And that's the equity. Yes. Because the property is, you know, is you're gaining, mm-hmm. is worth more as yeah. time goes on. So let's say that you have a mortgage of $1,000 and your rental income is 2000 and you, you got to pay some utilities, some tax. So let's say that you end up making $500 or 400 or even $300 a month. Three hundred dollars a month, is made, you know, it's not a lot of money. Yeah, but you're probably made more than that, in inequity. Yes, yeah. you probably made eight hundred, but you don't see it. Exactly. Yeah. But you're gonna see it, but you're mm-hmm. not now. Exactly. You know, so I see that as a piggy bank. Like, I made four hundred now, but I made five hundred towards the piggy bank. So f- you you fast forward five years. And rent keeps going up. Yes. So you increase rent. Yeah. The mortgage is really not going up. Yeah. Mortgage <laughs> stayed the same. Exactly. Yes. So you're by the fifth year, let's say you're making now eight hundred dollars a month or nine hundred. You're pocketing, but you remember that piggy bank. Mm-hmm. So that piggy bank is full now because uh, you know you first started making let's say five hundred dollars a month in equity. Fast forward. Five years, you may have already forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars. Yeah, and that is what motivated me is knowing, like, wait, there's money now, and there's money that you don't see and you can't touch, but it's there. It's there. Yeah. So let's say that ten years down the road, you want to look at how much how much do I owe on the in this house? So. Let's say your loan was $200,000, but 10 years later, you owe $70,000. But how much your house is worth now? Yeah. You know, so your house is probably, you bought it for, let, let's say, 300000 Now it's worth 500000 you know? So if you think about it, my house is worth 500000 and I, I only owe 80000 So you got $420,000 in the bank that that is what motivates me you know it's really about the equity you and know? the equity yeah, yeah, the is numbers, gonna go yeah. up every year that's what people don't even know yeah uh, there's people they pay mortgage and they only think about they just want to pay off but they don't see the equity uh, you'd be surprised that people that own house and real estate and they don't know about the equity part yeah. so it's good to have an idea how much is your property like right? it's since i bought this property over here i always check every year how much it went up or it went down because I mean, like I said before, if it does go down, it might be a little bit, but most of the time it's up. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's rare that it go down most of the time. It's rare. It's real rare. But, yeah, people... Uh, look at your equity, guys. If y'all get, <laughs> you yeah, if y'all get into equity. real estate, and, look into that. And talking about equity, there's another twist to that. Um, Let's say you have $400,000 in equity. You could go to the bank and say... And get a a, a a loan, a line of yeah. credit. Okay, uh, yeah. home equity, home yeah. equity line of credit. He like right. You could go like they, they'll look at it. They'll be like, okay, your your house is worth five hundred thousand. You only owe eighty, so four. You got four twenty. You 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 want three hundred thousand dollars? We'll loan you three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, and at a five percent, six percent rate. It, so now you'll be like, you know what? If if this is the twist. Yeah. You could take that three hundred thousand and get yourself a, another home. 
Exactly. Yeah. And you, there's places where you could buy a, a, a home for three hundred thousand dollars cash, obviously, mm -hmm. like PA. Yeah. So in reality, Maybe cheaper. I could just take that money, buy another house. That house is paid for cash. I just gotta pay my equity loan, but the rent that I'm collecting will pay for it and give me monthly income on top of that. Yeah. So that is where like it just opens a can of worms, a lot of opportunities uh, comes about yeah. when when you know a few years down the road. Yeah. If you know how to use it properly, obviously. All right, awesome. So um I mean we like real estate is it, it is the right way to go guys like it, it is um the 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 smartest um investment that you can make right and especially out here in, in in the united states um but do do there come problems with owning a home like is is there anything that you know like people should get concerned about because we you know we we do want to give positive vibes we do recommend you you do this but um is there anything negative that comes from from real estate um for I mean, me, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, for me, start. I mean, the only, it's not even negative. Like, if you own a couple of property, I would recommend to have somebody, to know somebody who know how to fix stuff. Because That's when, exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, wanted to, I wasn't sure. And, and it was not a negative, like you it's said. It's just negative. part of the business. Exactly, yeah. You know? Yeah, because every business, you're going to have to spend money and fix something. Like, it doesn't matter how new or how old is the house. Something's going to care. Stuff is gonna get damaged, and some rental don't care to be honest. That's rental, they like they will destroy stuff. Just make sure that, that's, that's another thing. You might have you need somebody to know, need to know somebody who fixed stuff. And and when you look at when you're looking for a rental, make sure you get the right people because thanks God, knock on wood, I never had a problem with any of my rental. But I know people get own property that have problem with rental because they think we can do the right background check, like for the. Most of the, I know the, yeah, not, not really, just one person that always had an issue with his rental because he wasn't doing it the right way. So if you're going to do like a rental property, make sure, if you're going to know how to do the background check, uh, check and everything, make sure you hire somebody to do that part. But since I'm pretty, I, I, I guess I'm a little cheap, I think <laughs> myself, but I've been lucky with my few tenants that I had. But yeah, there's stuff that you need to worry about, but they minor. Because right. at the end of the day, like he said, we're going to be making money. That's exactly it right there. I hope I think you take any of your answer. But if you ask No, that's, <laughs> everything you said is, is perfect. Hey, man, I mean, that's it's a, common we ground. Agree. We agree, stuff. but like you said, it's common ground. We're both yeah. doing the same thing. So what, no, whatever yeah. your opinions are, I, I share that too. Yeah, right, that's because awesome, there's pro and cons to everything in life. You yeah. just got to find a way. No, and if you and, and if you end up getting multiple... Uh, uh, properties that say y'all go over 10 properties is also always good to get a property manager oh you know, definitely so yeah i mean that's my plan like him i really really want to get to more real estate yeah. so i feel like most people that buy real estate or house once they got this second one they want to go to a third yeah it becomes a, like that's it you get in addition you as, as soon as you get one that's I mean, it it's a good one i guess mm -hmm. right it's a good addition to have oh, no it's a good uh, yeah uh, you're right it's a good addition. <laughs> <laughs> but i definitely want to get uh, that's my goal that's to get for right now just one right now but i pretty sure once i do that goal get my that next one i'm like him i might want to get another one and another one i mean like i told you i met people that all at 10 property 20 property uh, that's hard like after three property i imagine how, how tough it could be yeah no, no, it is, it is. But like you, like you said, it's good. Uh, once you you're that high, you need help. You That's need help. Man. You you need like some uh, somebody that would take yeah. care of it, and at least you know you for, you just need help for in in any type of business. If you have if you have your own business, you cannot do everything yourself. Yeah. You know, you just need help. You know, you you need to delegate stuff. So remember, so if you become a rental. Uh, property owner, make sure you have like that's a pro the comp, but it's mostly pro. Just make sure you have somebody who could fix stuff. And what was the second thing I say? <laughs> you know the background checks. The and, background yeah. check, yeah. Make sure you got the right tenant because if you got the wrong tenant, it's gonna be hard to remove them, especially in New York. Uh, my real estate attorney told me that it's getting harder. 
Um, if you have a, I'm not talking bad about old renter, but there's certain renter they know that uh, will damage your house. Yeah. Yeah, they know they will pull. That's the thing. So, yeah. in New York, it's worse. And especially when with all these COVID laws that came yeah. into play, that, you know, yeah. there's a lot of things that. That hurt a lot mm-hmm. of real estate owners. Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, but it's still, it's still, the point is that it's still a good investment. And I did want to clarify that because, you know, we, we, we don't, own, like, you know, like, Real estate is a good thing, but we, you know, we need to, we need to understand like what's that risk because everything is a risk, right? I mean, that's why a lot of people, you know, they they stay comfortable doing their jobs because they don't want to fall into risk. But you know, we have to, we have to, we have to kind of break in that habit because when you're when you're you know working, you're you you're, you're making somebody else rich. It's somebody's business that you're working on, so. You know, I do. I do want to share that with you know with, with part of the community. Nothing wrong with that. If you're happy with doing with what you're doing, awesome. You know, I know a couple of people who you know like who do um careers, uh, you know, working certain jobs, and they're happy. As long as you're happy, that's what really counts at the end of the day. That's so, another way to level up. Just be happy. Yeah. With what so, you doing? Uh, it's, yeah, it's, definitely. It's all mental. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, man. So like, uh, where like where do you see yourself like? you know five years from now it's something something that i ask everybody so you know like where do you see yourself five years from now yeah um as we discussed i yeah. i, I want to keep on growing um it's funny yesterday we had the mega millions right it was like 800 million dollars or seven. Oh, really that high I, I already like i had that money wasted I already like I played the the the, the Mega Millions yeah. and I'm like all right I'm gonna buy this I'm gonna buy that I'm gonna, like I'm just thinking properties properties properties, yeah. Um, but um yeah five years from now um like I'm just continuing to grow, continuing to add to my um, real estate portfolio, yeah. and um like you said ho- hopefully by five years I have a property manager because it's a lot, yeah. you know. So that's awesome. that that's what where I see myself. All right, cool. Hey, what about what about uh ten years? Oof. Is it the same is it the same thought? Ten years now I have buildings. <laughs> all right, all right. I have we, buildings by now. Probably have, probably have to do some partnerships, man. Like, <laughs> yeah. Buildings be high. No, I would love to have own a building because that's uh that's a retirement right there, right? Yeah. You know, even, I mean, it's still work, but like I said, but it's gonna be Passive money, real easy passive money. So passive income, yeah. Income, yeah. yes, not money, income. Yeah. But damn, I, I haven't seen that far ahead. <laughs> well, I definitely would like to do that yeah, too. Ten, ten nah, years, man, that's, is, I mean, it's a that, lot of days from now. That's why we we need to build a circle because now you actually got you know a, a, a bit of a vision, you know. No, definitely. That, so. I mean, right now I'm a two property, so I'm good. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully I get my third, then my fourth. No, no, and and when you're talking about building, you're t- you're not. You're talking about partnerships too. Yeah. You know, it's me yeah. with you and him. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, I got, I got five hundred thousand. You got your five hundred thousand. You got your five hundred thousand. That's a million and a half. A million. Yeah, a million, yeah, and, million and, a and a half. That's the down payment that we need yeah. for the the building that cost twenty five million dollars. You know. Yeah. So uh, that's you know that's a definitely a, a a way that a lot of people go. I think we're going to have to talk after the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> right, some, a- some after hours. Yeah. <laughs> Where up, man? So um, I-, I know that you, like, um, right now you, you recently uh, became a dad. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, so, you know, I know I know you have a legacy. I mean, if, uh, uh, let's just say 15 years, 20 years down the line, like, um, is, is there anything that you want to, uh, like, anything that you will say to... You know, to 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 your kid, is it a boy or a boy, girl? boy? Yeah. Yeah. Anything that you will say to your son, like any any type of guidance, because the way the way I look at it, you're so this is how I look at life, right? Right now, you're you're you know you're doing this real estate, right? And you're doing it for your family, right? So now, um, when you get your kid, most most often than not, your kid is gonna you you want your kid to do better. So like, do you have is this something that you thought about, like you know, like hey, I'm gonna. I'm doing this for my kid, you know, I'm, and I want him to go through this type of, you know, like, uh, like, do you do you recommend real estate for him? Is that something that you're gonna implement for him, or you just gonna? Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, I know that my parents, not because they're bad, but yeah. they didn't really know much better. Yes. Yeah. You know, they came from DR. That's all parents. They worked nine to five to put food on our table. 
they didn't have the vision of yeah. real estate and and the understanding of how you know maybe their vision is just buying a house you know that's it for us to live in but nothing past that no a second house no third house no fourth house um so that's, that's something definitely that I'm going to implement on my my child is that for him to know how to make money uh, it's not only about you know Working. going to school you need it yeah. because it, it it gives you a even um it, it, it makes you a, 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 a good person. Uh, you know, it, it social, teaches you how yeah. to make, how to calculate numbers and be social. Yeah, with other people. Yes, you need that in life. You, to, you, you need to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, um, like, you need to have that education, you yeah. know? Yeah. But that is not, the only way like you don't have to my opinion you don't have to go to school and then go to eight year college and then have two hundred thousand dollars in debt yeah, yeah and now get a nine to five and now repay your debt uh, that's fine that's a hundred percent and i would never tell my son not to do that because oh, i'm gonna yeah. encourage him to do that but he's also gonna know how to make money from the get-go he's gonna understand real estate he's gonna understand business you know and and i think that that's the best thing that we could do for our children and that's something that our parents probably yeah that's beautiful uh, this there. is what yeah. missing i feel like our culture because the thing is with our parents it's like i think he's, we talk about it one yeah, time yeah, it we, was, we had a segment with uh with joe, manny yo, shout joe, out to manny and uh, joe too yeah. it's not really their fault because when they came to this country they wanted something better they know that over there they wasn't going to be able to give that type of education to the kid so the, the, the mindset was to go to school go uh, college and get another five i guess but you got to think about it in, in those times right um you know they they are coming in from 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 you know like depression that they're going through in their country yeah they come in into the u.s so all they're thinking is oh i got a great job you know and and i'm living better than my kids so then all they teach us is to go to school because they don't know better and it's it's the truth. No. I mean, we love them, but they they don't they don't they don't understand it because it's like they that's not what they came into this country for. Yeah, and at yeah. the end of the day, it's not a it's not it's not a bad it's thing. not bad. Not bad. Thing. No, no, it's not. You it's know, not. so at least they're guiding us through you mm -hmm. know through through a, a a nice way, an educated way to make money and to be somebody, yeah. as opposed to not going to school, hanging out till twelve a.m. one a.m. Uh, doing nothing for your life so yeah. at least you know we had good parents yeah, that and that would put us on the right mm -hmm. path at least you know yeah, yeah, but there yeah. but there was more to that yeah there was more no no that's one of the reason we that's one of the reason we was doing we doing this podcast because i feel that there's a lot of people they don't know that they just exactly we said it's not their fault because they already have the mindset that we were gonna do better over here anyway but i feel like this generation, we should push to tell our younger generation get, get to get into real estate because we did like a we, uh, income of every race and our yeah. culture is real low because we don't know better. We're second, it's not really we're second our, to the lowest. Yeah, second to the lowest because we don't know better. It's not really our fault. Why don't we say I got into real estate? Because I talked with somebody that already was thinking about buying. If not, I would have the same mindset of getting an apartment and rent. But this guy was able to find somebody. So right now we doing. I'm glad we're talking about this because we might be able to influence people of our culture to get into real estate. It doesn't oh, even have to be only real estate, but there's many things that we could you could get into. Yeah. To yeah. um, to see in life, like like you said with the school. Uh, I'm planning to do an episode in the future to talk about the. Going to college is not the only option. I'm, I'm not saying it's a bad. I, I mean, I went to uh, school, got my degree, so I'm not gonna say it's bad either. But there's other option too. We gotta give our culture more option to succeed yeah, and exactly. show them that you could do it real estate, you could do it in stock, you could do it in. 
and and as and we had we had another segment with with Lewis. There's smart ways to actually uh, get, get you know get your get your um uh, education up and not have to pay so many loans. Yes. So you just gotta get educated as uh you know as, as far as what career you want to take, and you know what can you do to minimize your debts. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But, so, so I'm glad agree, we have this discussion. Yeah. But everything that you said, I agree, guys. School is not the only option. It's good to have it, to go to and do it. But there's other way too to succeed. Yeah. Exactly. All right. 100%. So, so, yeah, man. So, um, you know, like uh, before we end the segment, I mean, something that I want to share with the viewers, you know, like um, and with you, like. uh. So, you know, like he said, one of the things that he, he does, he, he, you know, he has a cell phone store. And you know, I, as some of you guys know, I do have a cell phone store as well. I do um want to thank you for giving me like a vision uh, into you know like what it is to obtain a business. You know, like I, I you know like I am indebted to you. I know we don't we don't talk much about it, um you know, but I'm indebted to you and to Wellington. You know, um you know like hey, couldn't come in today, but you know like hey, if you see this segment, maybe you get motivated to come in to watch us. Yeah, right. Yeah. And we have many other things to talk about, but uh. But um, you know, like I do consider you as far as bus- as far as the business, I do consider you as a mentor because mm-hmm. you know, like you, they guided me, and and I know that I know that you were smart, and I, I already knew that you was gonna get to places. So, you know, I'm I'm happy to see that you're you know no, like no, you're and, into real estate and, and, and yeah. I like I don't know thank you for that, and I I share the same thing with you that you know you definitely have obviously grown, and it when you have a business, it takes good people to help you thrive. And he was definitely one of those in reality, and you know that. Yeah. That, you know, this guy, he's no joke. He's definitely somebody that you would like to have, and, and now he's doing his own thing. So so that that just shows, you know, your dedication. So yeah. that was good. No, and it, and, it, and it shows as well, like, um, one thing that I, you know, I, I tell, you know, my employees, you know, like, I let them know, like, sometimes... You have to, like, when you're, when you're working, you have to, it has to be more than the money in a sense right you you obviously you're working there to get paid but you have to now see like the job see if you actually like what you're doing you know see what what it is that that we're bringing to the table because when we're talking to like our clients we actually paying attention to our clients we have like a system where we show the clients that we actually care you know you know and that's basically i know that's what you saw in me and you know like and i saw that in you guys so you know, like that that's something that we have to uh, show people because, you know, sometimes we go into certain places and you these customer service, man, like in New York. Yeah, yeah, New York. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, and, and you don't realize it until yeah. you, 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 you go to Virginia or, yeah, or when you're yeah. in South Carolina and, yeah. and you're like, whoa. Yo, you know, it's no yeah, joke. No, custom, no yeah. York is no joke. Customer <laughs> service out here, man. A lot of you guys suck, but you know, is it, that we're just still, too fast paced here. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I know. It, it, we need a, to get you in and out, in and out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, uh, like I said, I mean, I I do consider you one of my mentors as far as uh, business. Do you have any mentors? Uh, in business. Well, in general, like in business or real estate, anybody well, that you follow. Yeah. I mean, Wellington, since you mentioned him, um, he definitely is somebody that has shown me a trick or two. Okay. Uh, before we owned the business, before right. I owned the business, yeah. so. And, you know, that's, I go, I mean, that's another story for another yeah, day, yeah, yeah. but he's definitely somebody that, that taught me a few things okay. and that I la- later, um, implemented in, in. All right, awesome, mm-hmm. man. Maybe we could get him in. Yeah, we got to get him in. Talk about it, yeah. So, no, um, yeah, man, so I do, uh, want to thank you. Like I said, the, the, the mental part, uh, the reason I asked that question is because what, what, what I realized, right, in life is like. You don't just wake up and just do, you know, like you, you may, th- people may think that they just wake up and they have this vision and then they pursue it. How do you get that vision? You got to see it from somewhere. I mean, we all human, human beings. So we see, we, you know, like what drives us to do certain things is, is seeing somebody or emulating something that, that you see that you like that you enjoy, whether it's a friend, whether it's something that you see, you know, like in these days online. So, and what we want to implement here is create a system where we have people who just want to thrive because if you're doing something positive, let's say you're looking to pursue getting a building and, I, and I'm and i listening that you're you're pursuing that, it may motivate me to be like, you know what? 
man, let's 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 all get let's get some builders. You know what I mean? So, uh, like I was telling you before the segment, I was like, you know, like when you're if you're um if you're in, in a lake and you you're surrounded by fishermen, right? What eventually is gonna happen? You're gonna learn how to fish. You're gonna learn how to fish, yeah. Right? Doesn't mean that you're gonna be a fisherman, but you actually you, you are gonna learn how to fish. So. Uh, this is the type of this type of um things that I want to create for for our community, you know, build a circle and see, you know, and, and have people see that we are working on making and that we're gonna make it and we're gonna strive. Exactly, right? I, that, that's so, a good good way to end this yes, in reality so because that we 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 need to do this like monopoly. We need to own the whole block. Yeah, and then ho- get the other block and and create. A monopoly, basically. Yeah, you know? to our people, we but gotta help each other. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So I'm glad that we do this. So before we end this, um, would you like like any advice or anything you got to say before? Yeah, uh, I would like to say uh, as an advice, like like what I went through. Um, the beginning is always the most difficult um, part of anything. So just push. Put your mind to it, do it, and once you do it, everything will be easier. But don't be afraid to jump in 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 any opportunity, whether in any business, in any if you're into real estate for in, in anything, even if you're looking for a girl, like you you like that girl, don't be afraid. Just go after it. Once you go after it, everything after that will be a lot easier. Yeah, I mean that would be. Um, no, that's a queer advice. No, yeah, that's pretty dope advice. And, and one last thing I would like to add to that. Uh, make sure that if you know somebody that's doing something, ask. You know, ask them, hey, you know, how can I do this? Yeah, you learn you a know? lot. You learn, yeah. learn a lot with, with people that have been there and done exactly. that. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. that's, so that, that's something that's, that's very important, man. And mm-hmm. us Latinos, we like that. Yep. I mean, we do. We do. So, but yeah, man. I, Thank you for coming, man. I do appreciate it. Thank you for the it. invite. It was yeah. a pleasure. Uh, thank, like I said, thank you for coming. And for everybody who's listening, if you like what we're doing, we always come out with new episodes every Monday. And on Friday, we always put it on YouTube. And oh, like, if you know somebody, you got a friend, that, if you like this show, just tell it to a friend or family. We're on Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts, Samsung Podcasts, um, any music app um, that you could think of, we there. Podbean. So, our main source. Poppy, yeah. <laughs> Go to our website, um, webofficersetpodcast.poppy.com. I heard you even guys have a MySpace. Is, is, is that true? No, 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 no MySpace. No, 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 yeah all right guys so yeah um yeah th- thank you for for listening guys um we do have something new coming up so we we're 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 looking to doing um something different uh you know stay tuned for that and you know i just want you guys to have a great time and you know thank you for watching all right peace good night deuces peace all right